Geiger Miller tube. So this Geiger Miller tube it can be used to detect alpha, beta, and gamma, all three. Okay, alpha, beta, and gamma. Okay, how it work? How it work? Huh? Uh, so inside, uh, this is called the GM tube, uh, the Geiger Miller tube. This part uh, is called a GM tube. Uh, okay, usually, okay, is is connected to a scale meter or rate meter, or sometimes it, it can be connected to a speaker. It can be connected to a speaker, or sometimes even speaker. And sometimes it's connected to the rate meter and speaker at the same time, both also, okay? Now how it works, eh? this is a this, this is a GM tube, eh? okay, Geiger Miller tube. Uh, inside this tube, it contains of uh, some gas, okay, the helium, neon, or argon gas eh? at low pressure. And then so we have a thin mica window, thin mica window to cl to seal the front part of this GM tube, okay, so that the gas cannot go out, okay, so that the gas cannot go out. Uh, why we use a thin mica window is the reason is uh, this thin mica window can allow gamma beta and alpha particles to go inside if you use paper then cannot it cannot go in eh? okay so you must use a very thin mica window so that alpha particles can also go in so that it can detect alpha okay, if alpha cannot go in then it cannot detect alpha eh? and then so inside this gm tube it has two electrodes positive electrode at the center and then some negative electrodes at the side okay it's aluminium tube eh? aluminium tube uh, we use the aluminium tube a few mm is so that we can uh, we can we can block the radioactive from the side. Gamma we cannot block, okay? Gamma we cannot block, but we can block alpha and beta from the side so that the radioactive uh, come come in from the front part here. Yeah? So we have a uh, positive electrodes and a uh, negative electrodes, huh? okay? And this positive electrode is connected to a uh, quite a high power. 450 watt eh? sometimes it can it can be even higher okay now from here we can see that uh, the negative to negative electrodes and the positive electrode is not connected here right so this is a uh, this is an open circuit open circuit means that the current cannot flow eh? no current flow open circuit because the current here cannot go to the current here or current here cannot go to current the current here cannot move to this side and the current here cannot move out also okay so it's an open circuit no current flow eh? okay but if we have a radioactive source this radioactive source go inside this uh, gm tube then it can ionize the gas inside okay because all three yeah, alpha beta gamma has ionizing power okay so it can ionize the gas inside. After it ionizes the gas inside, then the gas molecules contains of uh, contains a lot of positive and negative charged particles. Okay. After ionizing it, it contains a lot of positive and negative charged particles. The positive charged particles will go to the negative electrodes, and the red one, uh, the negative charged particles, will go to the positive electrodes. And when this happens, it can generate an electric pulse is a current but it's a very short current okay very short current it, it, so it's just a pulse just electric pulse eh? okay uh, so you see when when this gm tube exposed to radioactive source eh? okay every emissions okay it emits one times it will generate a pulse emits the second times it will generate another pulse okay so this pulse is uh, electric, uh, electric flow. Okay. Now, if this GM tube is connected to a speakers, so every times when there's a pulse, uh, these speakers will produce a sound. Duck. Okay. The the sound is like duck, duck, duck. Okay. So every emission you can you can hear the sound. Okay. And then you can count. You can count. Okay. Duck one time. Duck second time. Duck duck four. Okay. So you can count. Uh, so you connect it to the speakers and then you hear the how many times it produces a sound, okay? Every time, every time there's one emission, uh, it will produce a pulse, the pulse will produce a sound in the speakers, okay? So sometimes you can hear the sound like okay, means there's a lot of emissions. If you hear the sound like 
the uh, means the emission is very low okay if the emission is too high okay you cannot count like duh, 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 you cannot count right okay so then we connect it to the scale meter or rate meter and this scale meter and rate meter it can count for us it can count for us so you just need to read okay this one uh uh, 800 times in one minute okay, normally it's how many times in one or this one 2,000 times in one minute you can count 2,000 times in one minute right so we let the scale meters to count for us so then that, that's how it work okay that's how it work how the GM tube work so the tube contains argon gas at low pressure so the end of the tube is sealed by a mica window thin enough to allow alpha particles to pass into the tube as well as beta and gamma radiations and then uh, when the charged particles or gamma radiations enter the tube, okay, it go into the tubes, the argon gas will be ionized. So this trickle a whole a valence of ions eh, between the electrodes. So it will produce a, a pulse of okay, electric pulse. Eh? Okay. So for the brief moments, the gas conducts a pulse of uh, currents, flows in the circuit. Okay. Okay, then you know these things, huh? okay, carry uh, radioactive, okay. What's the functions? First is to detect the presence of radioactive emissions, okay. For example, sir, you suspect that your room, inside your room, huh, on your table, okay, on your table, there are, let's say there's a rock, a piece of rock, you bring it from uh, school, okay, let's say in your school, okay, you found a, a piece of uh, stone or rock okay it's very beautiful so so you bring it home okay and you suspect that these things carry radio uh it's it, it, it radiates radioactive okay so how do you know you can't see okay right okay so you must have something to detect and then you can use this gm tube okay so you point this gm tubes to the rock okay and see okay there are how many emissions okay if there are one or two emissions per minute that's normal okay yeah, because most of the rock emits radioactive one or two in one minutes okay that's normal yeah but if you point your gm tips to this rock and then you read 200 emission oh, that's very high you can use it to detect radioactive emissions and you can even count how many emissions in one minute so then you can compare okay maybe you have two pieces of rock okay you compare point to this one 200 times per minute point to this one 300 times per minute okay so you not only detect that uh, you can even count there how many emissions in one minute okay so that is the functions of gmt but you need to know how it works because uh, in essay questions they may ask you to explain how it work so the radioactive source ionize the gas so the negative so there uh so there's a lot of positive and negative charge inside the gm tubes positive charge go to the negative uh, electrodes negative charge go to the positive electrodes okay uh so it produce a uh, an electric pulse uh, so this electric pulse uh sometimes it is connected to amplifier okay it can be connected to amplifier connected to amplifier is to increase the currents uh, to increase the current so that we can detect the presence of uh, gamma ray and then we use the scale meter or rate meters to help us to read how many emissions in one minute.